Welcome to Book Binge. I'm Donna and this is Sam and we're here to talk about books that we've binged. So Sam, what did you bring for us today? Well, now this is Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency and this actually is not the book. Our book is currently checked out. We do have it available online so you guys can access it but our physical, yeah. Our visual copy is not in the library, so I have the sequel to it, which I just found out about. I didn't know there was a sequel. Ooh, cool. So I might have to sneak, sneak this home with me. <laughs> it's hilarious. I giggled my entire way through this, and not just, not just like laughing, or it wasn't cute or anything. I was just like, couldn't stop snorting. <laughs> oh, it wasn't attractive. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, the sofa that was ever stuck on the stairs, it's so good, oh, it's so funny. And apparently based on fact, you know how you always get furniture into a room and then trying to move it, it just doesn't work. Well, it turns out the college that Douglas Adams went to, they put all these sofas in the rooms and then they remodeled the staircases and they actually couldn't get them <laughs> out, so they had to stay there. So they had them for years and years longer than they should have. But um, that's a running joke in it. And there's just like all these little bits like that that just kind of connect. Which is the point of it. First and foremost, this one is a detective story. Dirk Gently is the detective. His detecting is quite unusual. He believes in the interconnectedness of all things. So he kind of lets, he doesn't do much work and the mystery kind of comes to him. And if he's supposed to see it, he will. So there's a splash of time travel, other dimensions as I mentioned, ghosts, and needlessly complicated romance. It's sad. Uh, the answering machine doesn't do you any favors sometimes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Um, and Todd, my favorite character, he's just stumbling around it, like, completely clueless. He's trying so hard, but it's his boss that uh, ends up in trouble. Oh. Yeah. So he's stuck in it. He meets Dirk gently. He doesn't doesn't really want to do it, but he ends up getting roped into it. Um, something kind of interesting about this one is that Douglas Adams also wrote um, a segment in a Doctor Who series, and so a lot of this book is actually quite similar to that, and especially the one that wasn't published. He took all the names out and stuff like that, but it does feel very. Well, when you mentioned the time travel, like that's the first thing yeah. I thought of was, oh, was there a TARDIS involved or something? Perhaps there was in the original version, but in this one, no, but there is some interesting time travel. Um, I also, this is so wickedly funny. It's like, there's something about our English authors. That they, a few of them have this very specific way of writing where you're just laughing because it's so sharp and sarcastic. <laughs> Cutting. Something I would approve of. <laughs> you would approve of it. <laughs> Personally, I've never heard of the series. And although this isn't the exact one you were talking about, I look at it and the, <laughs> the it looks so fun with all the different, you know, on this one happens to have pizzas and whatnot. I, I have no idea what's on the one that you, that you read, but I've never heard of the series. How did you come about to hear about this series? Well... Douglas Adams, he did write The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I'm sure you know, everyone knows that one. I don't, though surprisingly, a lot of people haven't read it, even though we all I'll know, know it. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps seen the movie. Um, so a coworker mentioned it to me. She didn't like it at all, but I, I loved it. I was like, oh. It looked a little bit more... Um, Bite size in comparison to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is a little bigger. So I was like, well, I'll try this, and I just really enjoyed it. Well, thanks again for Dirt Gently's Holistic Detective Agency by Douglas Adams. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.